Hello, today is March 29, 2022. Let's update the Ukraine war. Uh, the Ukraine side announced they recapture Erpen city, which is on the like uh, northwest part of the strategic important position. So the urban city is next to the urban river. Uh, it is uh, the gateway for the Russian to get into the city. So capture the urban city is very important uh, victory for the Ukraine. Uh, in the meantime, today the the peace talk between Ukraine and uh, the Russian ended in uh, like uh, Turkey. Uh, there is no official peace agreement, but from the uh, oral uh, opinion of the uh, the, the negotiator, uh, they there they made some progress, and uh, uh, they are. Russia is saying they are reducing activity in the Kyiv area. Basically, uh, what that means is that uh, uh, potentially Russia is going to withdraw from the north. That's what we uh, has predicted about uh, 10 days ago, uh, several times uh, in the last 10 days. Um, so basically, our original thinking is that uh, because Russian didn't really occupy into major city in the north, they are not really uh, trying to take the northern territory. Uh, in the meantime, northern territory only have small percentage of Russian, like uh, Kiev, around 11 percent. Our area is below 10 percent. So even if they take the area, they cannot hold on. Um, so that's our two logical in there. It seems to be our guess is true. Um, now, there is another progress uh, for the Ukraine side. Basically, they Last time we were talking about the, the attack, the, uh, this particular city on the north. Uh, now they fully control it. Uh, north east of Kharkiv. This is also a very important uh, uh, trust trust kit. This one is uh, being occupied by the Russian, uh, by the uh, Ukrainian soldier right now. So the the that's that's a, a progress for the Ukrainian side uh, before the uh, right before the the negotiation. So I think uh, from, in my opinion, like uh, before negotiation, if you're working really hard uh, uh, on gaining territory, that potentially mean Ukraine side are ready to reach a deal. Uh, so just uh, potential. Uh, it looks likely the two sides may negotiate uh, uh, like a final result. Um, on the other side, let's go to the Mariupol to see the situation there. Uh, from the uh, ground uh, activity in Mariupol, we can see there are several things. Uh, let's go to the heat map. So from we already talked about this, like uh, the Russian declare this area being uh, success, successfully occupied, but uh, they go through house by house to uh, like uh, check the. This happened over like uh, twenty four hour ago. Uh, these are all residential area. This is a corner of the factory. 
These two also, this area also are residential area. This is also residential area. Uh, these are no rise building. These are residential area. This one, is, this side is in residential area. This is in office building. So basically, in anything in the residential area, uh, mean like Russian is going house by house to check uh, is there any like uh, still some soldier or fighter left. Uh, the major objective for the one of the major objective for the Russian is to defeat Azov. Az Azov. Azov is an elite uh, military force uh, for Ukraine and uh, uh, they're, uh, they are basically uh, like a claim they are new Nazi. Uh, uh, like a, there was even US uh, several years ago also claimed them to be new Nazi, uh, and they basically try to uh, eliminate uh, that fraction of the army. The major force of Azov is in Mariupol, so uh, that's also one of the reason why they fighting in uh, Mariupol is very brutal and very, um, like, uh, it's terrible uh, because both sides want to kill each other. Uh, like, uh, the, the Russian also sent their best troop, which is chasing force, uh, to attack in this area. Because last time, the Donetsk force was defeated by the Azov uh, in 2015. Uh, they almost uh, occupy the whole Mariupol, like uh, Donetsk by Re Donetsk Republic, uh, and then a roof come in and they drive them out. So they are now they are trying to get a revenge on that, uh, and uh, eliminate all the forces in a roof. Uh, so that's the basic background. Uh, they, that's why they are searching house by house to clear everything here. Uh, and in the meantime, I also said that uh, it seems to be Russia is determined to hold on to the whole territory of Donetsk and uh, Luhansk. During the negotiation, even before the negotiation, Zelensky already said he's willing to um, talk about uh, give the like uh, some kind of high level autonom autonomy or kind of independence for the. Uh, two republic. It's, it's it's probably Russian want uh, the two republic uh, be independent, but uh, I will see. Like uh, let's see how it goes. Um, it may not necessarily be independent, uh, um, but it may be close. Uh, uh, but certainly, like uh, Crimea is going to be officially belong to Russia. Uh, that's for sure. So. Um, that's the uh, situation. Let's also talk about uh, something we didn't uh, cover fully last time. Last time we talked about the interest of Russia, their objective, the five objective here. Uh, they roughly get uh, most of them. Uh, for the US side, basically, Biden's, uh, because Biden's uh, opinion poll is uh, sinking to the worst of any president. So basically, Biden is trying to use a wall to save his reputation, his opinion poll, and uh, uh, the, the, the midterm election uh, happened at this November of this year. Uh, so the, it's very important for Biden and for the De uh, Democracy Party, the De Demo Democratic Party to uh, hold a to like a user wall to uh, save its sinking reputation and at its opinion pool. So they are kind of exaggerate and trying to agitate the, the fight. Um, that's one of the background. Uh, Another, but in the process, I think the biggest mistake Biden did is that uh, the sanction has been too big and too broad. Uh, 
and has been hurting dollars international dominance. That like uh, both China and Russia now using uh, their currency to uh, expand their own, own currency in commodity trading like uh, wheat, uh, corn, uh, and also in uh, like uh, crude oil. So that is a significant weakening of the dollar in the long term. Uh, that's already because of cryptocurrency, there was already some weakening uh, but this particular sanction really hurt dollar uh, and also hurt the dollar investment because all the global, all the rich guy, all the east of the country realize that uh, if you put your asset in dollar, like once you get into trouble, the U.S. can punish you and freeze your asset. That's also something long term hurt the dollar well well hurt the dollar uh, the uk junction also has a very bad uh, uh, opinion pool and also get into uh, like uh, many of the newspaper call him to resign because there was some fight uh, and uh, his party make, uh, made some mistake uh, in the last few months um, for Turkey, Turkey has been relatively very isolated globally and his currency and uh, like uh, economy is tanking. Uh, Turkey also tried to gain something by trying to pursue a uh, peaceful settlement. I think uh, that's the international background for the uh, peace talk in Turkey. Uh, so Russia, like the near future Russia will have some damage on the image. Uh, everyone will perceive Russia as a bully, a bad boy, right? So, and the economy also will suffer. Uh, maybe also hurt its exporting of oil. Uh, but on the other hand, Russia's uh, objective of Donetsk, Luhansk, and Crimea are most likely to be fulfilled. Uh, the second one, uh, like eliminated Azov Batani, this one also are very successful. Uh, they also get a, a lot of Russian ethnic uh, like, uh, people originally from Ukraine, Ukraine territory. Uh, basically, all the Luhansk and the Donetsk uh, occupied area, Russia has already given Russia passport to anyone Russian ethnic. So they will propagate two million Russian ethnic uh, uh, citizens. Uh, so in terms of population, they, they lose a few thousand soldiers and gain two million. That's a big uh, in their objective because Russia is losing, the population is decreasing. So uh, another one is that uh, they put a pressure on the ground, they sold the muscle, and they won the rest. And that has been successful. Uh, the number five is the coal, natural gas, and oil. That's partially successful because Luhansk and Donetsk has uh, almost uh, most, uh, maybe 90% of the coal uh, for Ukraine, uh, maybe 30% of electricity generation. Uh, and uh, uh, that's a lot of resource gain. Uh, be, in addition, there are lots of resource uh, on the coast of like uh, Donetsk, uh, potentially. So that's the basic uh, uh, wall. Going forward, we believe that uh, Russia will fighting, continue fighting uh, uh, until uh, uh, they reach a deal. Uh, and uh, especially, uh, we believe that uh, Russia will put the pressure on the soldier on this east frontier. There are about 40,000 uh, Ukraine soldiers uh, around this frontier. 
like uh, the 2,000 are already been mostly been uh, 20,000 in um, Ryupu already mostly been killed or been uh, dispersed. Uh, there are 40,000 here. So Russian certainly will try to circle them and uh, put the pressure on the negotiation. Uh, in the meantime, if the negotiations are not successful, they will use force to occupy this area. Uh, if uh, we expect that most likely like uh, the negotiation will go through and uh, Russian will give back uh, the southern two provinces and also the northern part back to Ukraine. Um, but uh, there is small possibility, like 1% uh, or 5% possibility that the fight will continue going on, which that would be, would be uh, terrible for the Ukraine people. Uh, I think uh, Russia is also making a good uh, move technically because uh, if you occupy a area where there are not many Russian ethnic population, uh, you are not going to hold it. The cost uh, would be very high, uh, would be a bad move. I think they learn from the Afghanistan, right? If there is no Russian in there, you, you occupy there, you're going to be defeated by the local people. So they will stay in Luhansk and Donetsk. The other area have maybe 20 to 30 percent uh, uh, Russian ethnic. Uh, uh, if they want a Russian passport, probably Russian will give them passport. So that's likely attract another maybe half a million to a million Russian uh, holding passport and migrate to the uh, like a main Russian territory of Luhansk and the Donetsk region. So we will see what happens. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and uh, uh, hit the like button. Uh, then when I put out the next video, you will be able to automatically see it. Thanks. Bye.